Hello and welcome to the webinar. In this webinar, we will briefly review what extra chromosomal circular DNAs are, cover their biological and molecular roles in cancer cells and diseases, how to profile ECC DNAs, and the research roadmap ahead. Let's first have a look at what ECC DNAs are. ECC DNAs are extra chromosomal circular DNAs endogenously produced from the chromosomes in the nucleus, but they do not include circular mitochondrial DNA genome in the mitochondria, or circular plasmid DNAs transfected into the cells. In a genomics context, there are two major types of ECC DNAs by size. Micro ECC DNA, or simply ECC DNA, that are less than 10 kilobases. The most frequent sizes are between 200 to 400 base pairs. Mega ECC DNA, or simply EC DNA, that are greater than 10 kilobases and can be several megabases long. Here are the violin plots of the size distribution of ECC DNAs and EC DNAs in neuroblastoma cancer cells. Under atomic force microscopy or scanning electron microscopy, ECC DNAs and the EC DNAs are in circular forms. Besides the sizes, Micro ECC DNA and mega ECC DNAs have different properties. Most importantly, micro ECC DNAs cannot itself replicate and are not amplified in the cells. They do not carry a full length gene and typically do not contain regulatory sequences. Micro ECC DNAs can occur in normal, apoptotic, and cancer cells. On the other hand, mega ECC DNAs or EC DNAs can self replicate, amplify, and grow selected in the cancer cells. They contain oncogenes, drug resistance genes, other genes, or even regulatory sequences such as enhancers, as long as these elements can promote cell proliferation. EC DNAs are clonally selected and expanded in cancer cells. Additionally, EC DNAs and the genomes they are originated from carry heavily recombined and mutated sequences. That is, the genomes are in very poor shape. Before the genomics era, ECC DNAs were observed in the past and historically given various names. For micro ECC DNA, these include micro DNAs, mostly at about 200 to 400 base pairs, now originated from any part of the genome, occur in normal cells, but more so in cancer cells. Now functions are less known. Some of them can make microRNAs extra chromosomal rDNA repeat circles, or ERC, derived from rRNA gene repeat sequences. Teromeric repeat circles, or T circles, derived from teromeric regions, which can cause alternative lengthening of telomeres in cancers. In genetically unstable cells, Small polydispersed circular DNAs, or SPC DNA, were preserved. They likely overlap with other ECC DNAs, such as microDNA, ERC, or T circles. This name is historically obsolete. For mega ECC DNA, Double minutes were observed by cytological staining in many cancer cells such as breast, lung, ovary, 
colon, and most notably, neuroblastoma. They appear in pairs, but actually more commonly appear as singletons. Double minutes carry oncogenes or drug resistance genes. Now accumulation in cancer cells lead to very poor cancer prognosis. Somewhat smaller are episomes at about 250 to 300 kilobases. They may carry four length genes and can multimerize into double minutes according to the episode model. At the molecular level, ECC DNAs are formed by a number of possible models. The RNA DNA duplex can form R loops during gene transcription and RNA polymerase elongation. R loops can also form during DNA mismatch repair and during DNA replication in the replication fork. The single DNA strand in the R loop can loop out, circularize, replicate to form ECC DNA. During DNA replication, the DNA polymerase can slip and jump downstream, leaving the template DNA strand unimpaired. Looped out, circularized, and replicated to form ECC DNA. Also, during DNA replication, the nascent DNA strand normally will synthesize along the expanding replication bubble. However, some nascent DNA strand may slip into other strand within the replication bubble and ligate to form ECC DNA circles. During double strand break or DSB DNA repair, recombination between homologous regions can topologically cause ECC DNA region to excite style to form free ECC DNA circles. All these generated episodes can be further fused to form chimeric ECC DNAs as the episode model. At a, chromosome, at a chromosomal level, mega ECC DNA, that is ECDNA, may form in the breakage fusion bridge or BFB process, where the chromosome breakage loses the telomeres and exposes the fresh chromatid ends to fuse. This fused chromosome now has two centromeres and a fused bridge in between them. During mitosis, chromosomal segregation anchored by the centromeres, new breakage and fusion occur. This process can repeat and form repeat regions for homologous recombination that excites out the ECDNA. In the double strand breaks model, the ECDNA region is excised out between the bricks point, producing circularized ECDNA and leaving the deletion in the orig original chromosome. The ECDNAs or episomes can fuse to form larger chimeric ECDNAs such as double minutes. Many cancer cells can have very destabilized chromosomes. Cancer cell chromosomes can shatter into pieces catastrophically in a process called chromosomal stripsis. These pieces can reassemble to alter and recombine the chromosomes or circularize to ECDNAs. Once formed, ECDNA with DNA replication origin can replicate and amplify in the cells. ECDNAs with other DNA replication origin are lost. ECDNAs do not have a centromeres to allow even, even segregation into daughter cells during cell division. Some daughter cells get more copies of ECDNAs and grow selected. 
ECDNAs can further reintegrate back into the chromosomes to form repeat regions, while at the same time disrupt chromosomal integrity and aggravate chromosomal destabilization. ECDNAs can be encapsulated into micronuclei, shuttering between the nucleus and the cytoplasm, or between extracellular spaces and the cells. Over time, ECDNAs and the cells carrying gross cargo genes are expanded, whereas random genes having no gross advantages are lost. So what are the molecular and biological functions of ECCDNAs? Double minutes are the type of ECDNAs that are visible under the microscope as highlighted in this yellow box. The others are chromosomes. The double minutes carry oncogenes such as MIGN, MIG, MET, and EGFR. Cancer drug treatments can develop drug resistance and produce double minutes. For example, CHO cells treated with anti-cancer drug PARA or L-aspartate, angiomycin, vinblasting, conformycin can develop double minutes carrying CAD, NDR1, and MDPD2 drug resistance genes. Here is the full maps of ECDNA in Colo 320 double minute positive cells, which is a colon cancer cells. It contains many oncogenes such as MIC, PVT1 from several different chromosomes. Some of these oncogenes are long long coding RNAs such as PVT1 and PCAT1. One of the mechanisms of ECDNA driving cancer is by oncogene amplification. On the left panel is the ECDNAs optically detected and red circled by imaging analysis software ECDetect in various cancer cell lines. In figure A, we can see that oncogenes are amplified on ECDNA or as a homo homogeneously standing regions or SHSR for duplicated genes on chromosomes in many cancer samples. Gene amplification by ECDNA in normal cell is very rare. As shown in figure B, extra chromosomal amplification is way faster than chromosomal amplification. Using mathematical Galton Watson simulation, Gene amplification by ECDNAs is the fastest way to gain amplification copy numbers, whereas gene amplification by chromosomal HSR is much slower or even stop when the HSR is below 0.01. In figure C, ECDNA gene amplification produced highest MIC or EGFR8 oncogene mRNA expression much higher than chromosomal amplification or low amplification. Furthermore, as shown in figure D, the more the ECDNA copies, the higher the ECDNA count heterogeneity as measured by Shannon Diversity Index. The Shannon Diversity Index is very similar to Shannon Entropy. It indicates how chaotic and random the ECDNA counts in cancer are. ECDNAs are present across most cancer cell types, with glioblastoma being the most frequent at 60%. Cancers containing ECDNA have much poorer prognosis and worse clinical outcomes. The other important mechanisms of ECCDNA driving cancer is by active, open, accessible ECCDNA chromatin. In our cells, 
The majority of the genes are silenced by closed chromatin. However, most ECDNA chromatins are open for transcription of the cargo genes. The open or closed chromatin states can be as assayed by TM5 transpose as chromatin accessibility assay on individual genes by ATACC FISH or by ATAC sequencing genome-wide. Where the open chromatin is accessible to TN5 transposase enzyme and tagmented by labeled adapters, the chromatin here that is open to TN5 transposase is co-localized and superimposed with the ECDNA MIC by FISH. The chromatin accessibility and EC MIC intensity correlates almost linearly very well. Furthermore, all top-ranking expressed genes are all on ECDNAs, with a red dot in glioblastoma multiform cancer cells. Yet another mechanism of ECCDNA, wreck havoc in cancer, is acting as mutator to remodel the genome and drive the cancers. As ECCDNAs reintegrate back into the genome, they can disrupt and kill tumor suppressor genes or ju juxtapose to and activate oncogenes. In fact, the majority of genomic rearrangement in neuroblastoma involve ECCDNAs. On the left, EC MIGN from its original site from its original site is integrated and rearranged into multiple sites in other chromosomes. In particular, the EC MIGN integration into tumor suppressor gene D click one in chromosome 13, inactivating D click one and causing cancer progression. Here ECCDNAs reintegrate, reintegration has been observed as an unanticipated major source of somatic rearrangements. Cancer causing lesions by circle derived rearrangements represents an ongoing mutagenic process during cancer development and are associated with adverse clinical outcomes. In addition to cargo oncogenes or drug resistance genes for ECDNAs to drive cancer, ECDNAs can carry regulatory elements, particularly enhancers and super enhancers, to form extensive interactions within the ECDNAs or between the chromosomes. Super enhancers are special enhancers capable of recruiting large loads of transcription factors and are the top ranking sites in chip sequencing for enhancer marks, such as H3, K27, acetylation, H3, K3, methylation, P300, and RNA polymerase too. They are the transcriptomic masters for cell type determination and cancer gene expression programs. By high C method to detect any 3D chromatin contacts or by chromatin interaction analyses with a paired end text or care pad using RNA polymerase 2 as the transcriptionally active anchor. The intra-ECDNA interactions and the between the ECDNA chromosome interactions, that is the between cis and trans interactions are constructed. The ECEGFR positive H HF2927 cells have extensive contact interactions with multiple sites in the chromosomes and within EC EGFR DNA as depicted in this circles plot. The interactions are positively correlated with the expression of the genes in contact with, as shown on the left. Convincingly, even synthetic ECDNA carrying enhancer elements 
can greatly activate target gene expression as shown on the right. So ECDNAs have been acting as mobile enhancers to globally amplify gene transcription. Here, in the active chromatin domain, the ECDNAs carry enhancers or super enhancers, recruit large numbers of transcription factors, and form close contact with the target chromatins in an enhancer hub. Within the hub, the enhancers drive the gene transcription at a large linear distances or even on different chromosomes, but in very close 3D proximity. The super enhancers are often act in positive feedback loops. That is, super enhancers drive oncogene or transcription factor production that feeds back to, the, to drive super enhancer activity. The reprogrammed cancer transcriptomes ultimately drive the tumorigenesis. To recap, ECCDNAs can confer high oncogenicity by way of A, amplification of cargo oncogene or drug resistance genes, B, intratumoral heterogeneity due to uneven segregation and growth selection, C, open chromatin for active gene transcription and expression, D, reshaping the cancer genome as mutators, E, acting as mobile regulatory elements such as super enhancers, and F, prominent and early cancer markers. ECDNA can indicate poor cancer prognosis and clinical outcomes. In addition to cancer, ECCDNAs are also involved in diverse molecular and physiological processes. For example, oxidized ECCDNAs can transmit the stress signal to the bystander cells to initiate apoptotic behavior. In immunity, some ECCDNAs are strong triggers for pro-inflammatory cytokines. Telomere T cycles are accumulated in early embryos and are gradually lost during development. Other ECCDNAs are dramatically accumulated in aging cells. Many ECCDNAs can produce non-coding RNAs to sponge transcription factors. MicroDNAs can make regulatory short RNAs such as, such as microRNAs to regulate gene expression. Due to genomic and spatial mo mobility, ECCDNAs possess the capability for adaptive evolution and genomic plasticity, such as gene dosage compensation and adap adaptation to drug treatment, mm -hmm. far easier than regular genome. Cells without telomerase activity can restore telomere length by alternative lengthening of telomere or ALT using T-circle ECCDNA. With these molecular functions, ECCDNAs are associated with many cancers such as glioblastoma, glioma, neuroblastoma, breast cancer, prostate cancer, some, are, some other lung cancer diseases are related to immune, muscular skeletal, and cardiovascular diseases such as myocardial infarction. ECCDNAs have many desirable properties for biomarker use. In biofluorids such as serum plasma samples, circular ECCDNAs do not have free 5 and 3' prime ends. They are much more resistant to exonuclease degradation and have much higher stability in bowel fluids. While most linear cell-free DNAs are heavily degraded into a couple hundred base pair fragments, ECC DNAs are longer and carry more spans for detection. In vivo, 
ECC DNAs are amplified to high copy numbers. Thus, the original native signals are magnitudes higher. Additionally, extracted ECC DNAs can be further amplified in vitro by a rolling circle amplification method using random primers with greatly reduced bias toward genomic loci, whereas linear cell-free DNAs are amplified in vitro by PCR with greatly distorted bias toward priming sites. The presence of EC DNAs are strongly associated with poor cancer prognosis and clinical outcomes. EC DNAs, such as double minutes, have already been used in clinical lab tests. Importantly, EC DNAs can be detected long before precancer cells, before phenotypically apparent cancer cells. In these examples of developing ECDNA biomarker for ovarian cancer, primary and metastatic ovarian cancers were profiled for ECCDNAs. About 195,000 ECCDNAs were detected in the samples. About 450 ECCDNAs had the differential abundance levels. The top differential ECCDNAs were examined for their cargo gene expression and their relevance to oncogenic functions. ECDNA DNMT1 carrying DNA methyltransferase 1, the low expression is associated with poorer survival in Kaplan Meyer analysis. With their extraordinary importance, Genome-wide profiling of ECC DNA is essential in ECC DNA research. ECC DNA sequencing has now become available to regularly equipped biologists and clinicians. In the ECC DNA sequencing of workflow, the circular mitochondria DNA and the linear chromosomal DNAs in the sample must be removed. Circular mitochondria DNAs are linearized by PAC1 digestion. The linearized mitochondrial DNA and the, linear and the linear chromosomal DNAs are removed by exonuclear DNAs digestion. The remaining ECC DNAs are further amplified in vitro by rolling circle amplification. The amplified ECC DNAs are constructed into sequencing library for NGF analysis. The detected ECC DNAs are classified into small ECC DNA and large EC DNA types. Now, genomic information are annotated and the differential expression computed. The cargo genes are analyzed with cancer driver gene databases. The presence of super enhancers for each EC DNA is indicated. The ECC DNA size distribution and the chromosomal distribution of the ECC DNA or original sites are graphed. The levels of ECC DNAs are hierarchically clustered and heat mapped. Armed with ECC DNA profiling information, the ECC DNAs can be further studied. After ECC DNA sequencing profiling on total genomic DNA samples, the differentially expressed ECC DNAs can be confirmed by qPCR on their characteristic breakpoints, that is, the circular junction sites. Their known cargo genes functions are tightly associated with the ECC DNA functions. Chip sequencing can be used to study ECC DNA chromatin modifications, epigenomic states, or transcription factor binding. Link RNA, microarray, or RNA sequencing can be used to correlate the target or effector gene expression with ECC DNA. Transcriptome and 
genome-wide. Super-enhancer microarray can be used to study eCCDNA super-enhancer activities along with all transcription factors and oncogenes. DRIP-C-SIG can be used to correlate R loops with eCCDNAs and the genomic instability. High pro sequencing or high pro mass spectrometry can find eCCDNA associated genes, proteins, and other eCCDNA in close spatial proximity. These methods are briefly illustrated here. TRIP sequencing uses antibody to immunoprecipitate the transcription factors bound to eCCDNA and chromosomal DNAs. DRIP-C6 uses S9.6 antibody to immunoprecipitate RNA DNA duplex in the R loops. High c seq detects any DNA strands in close contact by HIND3 restriction enzyme digestion, embotinylation, and ligation of the cross-linked chromatin, which allows analysis of extra intra ECC DNA and interchromosomal interaction analysis. KIEPAT, or chromatin interaction analysis with paired AN tag sequencing, introduces linkers at the restriction ends of the DNA immunoprecipitated by transcription factor. After proximity ligation, the interacting chimeric PETs can be cut off, flanking the linker sites by MME1 restriction enzyme. Kier drop partitions a single fragmented chromatin complex with a gel bead containing barcoded reagents within one droplet by a microfluidic instrument. All DNA fragments in the complex are linearly amplified within that droplet and sequenced, which allows detections of interacting DNAs and chromatins in a complex. Hybridization proximity labeling, or HYPRO, uses fusion enzyme between peroxidase and decoxygenin binding domain. HYPRO enzyme is guided by decoxygenin labeled antisense oligo to the target sites. The peroxidase can volatilate the DNA strand to so proteins in proximity in close proximity in the presence of hydrogen peroxide. The biotin pull-down DNAs are sequenced and protein identified by mass spectrometry. ECC DNA profiles are interrelated with gene expression, R loop formation, chromatin activity stats. In a bigger picture, established technologies and approaches shown as solid red lines are available to profile target or effective gene expression by link RNA microarray and RNA sequencing. Profile R loops by drip sequencing. Profile chromatin epigenomic modification and transcription factor binding by chip sequencing to gain comprehensive insights into the ECC DNA biology by integrating with ECC DNA sequencing analysis. Novel connection between ECC DNA and R loop for ECC DNA formation and genomic instability as shown in dotted blue lines, can be explored by integrated ECC DNA sequencing and drip c seq analysis. I hope the information is helpful for your ECC DNA research. Thank you for your interest. Please visit us at www.arraystar.com.